Jack, what I want to know from you is, is this new Avatar film any good? Listen, <laughs> I was surprised when I went to go see this new Avatar movie um, that I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I I was like, okay, I went in there like completely cynical. Um, like, I'm going to hate this. This is going to be a big piece of shit. Um, but I went in, I watched it, you know, that obviously like visually breathtaking. I saw it like in the IMAX 3D, you know, the, the way Jimmy Cameron intended us all to see it. Um, and it was like a really engrossing environment, really incredible, looked unbelievable, all the textures and, you know, shots and scenes and like vistas and everything in it looked amazing. Um, but, you know, <laughs> It's it's kind of similar thing with the first one where like the more I'm removed from it because my initial experience as I come out of cinema was like oh yeah I really enjoyed that the more I think about what happened in the movie like the further I get away from it the more I'm like I actually don't think that was any good <laughs> like because the plot's just the same plot from the previous movie you know how the previous movie they're like trying to prevent Giovanni Ribisi slash Jack Connor Spazio I'm going to watch that for the first time this year what Avatar yeah I've not watched it. Well, I mean, you find out the plot very quickly. Okay. You know, people from the sky come and they're trying to obtain something called unobtainium, um, which is an element. Um, but in this Avatar, The Way of Water, they basically, people from the sky come and they're trying to get some goo out of whale brains. Um, <laughs> is basically the story. <laughs> like, there are these, like, giant whale creatures that live near this, like, little sea shanty town that Jake Sully and all of his kids and his missus end up at. Um, and they've got this, like, weird goo in their head that... I think reverses aging or something or slows aging. Um, so obviously the people from the sky want this goo so they can, you know, live forever or something. Um, and yeah, they managed to spin that plot out for three hours, <laughs> which when I was watching it, I'm like, oh, you know, like I'm really enjoying this. And then the more I think about what happened in the movie and, and, and since I'm just like, yeah, this is it's kind of, it's kind of dumb. I had um, that uh, exact experience with Dark Knight Rises. I'm right. Like, oh, this is great! Fucking non-stop thrill action, and then you go yeah. home and you're like, "Why did he waste time to set fire to the building to put a sign there?" Yeah. When the bomb was gonna go. I, I think the thing with Dark Knight Rises is, is because it starts spectacularly with the the aircraft scene, and then it ends. <laughs> fire rises, brother. Um, but yes, the problem is, is like the the like two hours in between those two sections is is kind of it drags and meanders and. Um, yeah, like the, the Avatar, does it start? I mean, obviously, it's it's a fucking a visual effects fiesta, so I imagine throughout it looks spectacular. But oh, does I it mean, start like, high, it, it, end high, or? Um, it starts high. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, then it kind of sets the premise up, um, which is Jake Sully moves his family to like a sea shanty town. Um, and believe it or not, the people there are Jack, suspicious I, of. I need you to stop saying Jake Sully like he's a household name. <laughs> He only ever gets full named in the movie. Oh, okay. Sean. Okay. When, like, in, in, when you watch the original Avatar, you will realise how much his missus just calls him Jake Sully. She just 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 call him Jake. She's just like, no, no, Jake Sully, you must do this and do this. And you're like, fucking Zoe Saldana, can you just stop referring to him by his full name at all times? So it's, I admit, some people have got like full names. Like, for instance, if you've got someone whose first name is one syllable and second name is one syllable. I get why people would call them like both their names. It's got like an impact to it, but Jake Sully is not one of those things that rolls off the tongue. <laughs> it really isn't. Um, but yeah, J I guess Jake Sully is a household name if you've seen the first one. That's all I will tell you. Um, but yeah, I, I want you to take a pen and a pad down, Sean, to just see how many times they say Jake Sully in that fucking first movie. Because it's a lot. So Jake it goes to this like village. Yeah, so Jake and his missus... Sorry, and his, Jake Sully his, goes to this village. Jake Sully and his missus and his kids go to this village and they're suspicious of them. Um, and then, you know, one of them that's like the sort of naughty dick kid, he has like a good a good son, a naughty dick son, um, like an older um, daughter and then a younger, like sort of, you know, playful, impish daughter. Um, and the older son, obviously, the good son that everyone likes... He does nothing wrong all throughout the movie. He's just trying to make everything work. The dick son is an outcast and, you know, they take him out into the middle of nowhere and he bonds with a whale. Um, the sort of, like, 
you know, sort of like floaty fairy kind of door, she starts becoming one with the ocean. And then the sort of impish little door is only really used for peril at one stage. And yeah, they, you, the, 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 the young son, like the, the dick son, he bonds with this whale thing. And then he's an out, the outcast from the, the main pack of whales that the, the sky people are trying to attack. And then Jermaine Clement, for some reason, is one of the scientists who's trying to extract this goo, which really distracted me because I was like, if Brett McKenzie turns up and they start playing the Fly the Concord song on this movie, it's going to go from like a 7 out of 10 to like a 11 out of 10. But sadly, that didn't happen. And yeah, then there's the bad guy who's like, actually like the, the the soul of like one of the soldiers that's trying to mur- murder Jake Sully in the first movie um and yeah he he they have a big climactic final battle and spoiler alert Jake Sully wins um but the other guy gets away because there's three more movies and that's that's Avatar the way of war <laughs> the plot I, I presume paper, I, I presume there is absolutely no reason for it to be three hours long oh god no <laughs> It really doesn't. But like, I did, I did feel really immersive. I don't, I feel tricked. I feel like, I feel like James Cameron is hypnotizing me. Like I've been to see fucking Darren Brown every time I see one of these movies. I'm just like, what is going on? I come out feeling really positive about it. And the more I think about it, the more I'm like, this is absolute hogwash. You're looking forward to the um, next three. Yeah. I can't wait. Do you know what? I'm I'm gonna go into that third one, just like fully accepting that I would enjoy it at the cinema, and I'll see half an hour of it on TV at a later date. Like, oh, this is absolute bollocks. I mean, you know, Dave, when he gets back on the podcast, when he stops gimmicking McGee, he can uh, he can tell us what he thought. But I know he really didn't like it, and I was like weirdly defending it. But I don't know. The more time passes, the less defense I have for it because the more I just think, ah, yeah, the story was fucking stupid. Oh, and yeah, three and three and a bit hours. Oh, man. Why, but why it's it? what like one of the top films ever didn't it, it like smash records the box office I, I kind of barely glossed over it it did it was very successful so here's the thing though no one speaks about it no one speaks about Avatar so like you know there's, I work with a bunch of people like that I'll talk to talk to about movies and stuff every now and then but no one ever really starts a conversation they're like ah oh, Avatar eh it just doesn't happen. But yeah, do you think like, do you think Cameron has ex- access to to the numbers and just kind of f- fudge the numbers up a bit? Cameron is gimmicking us somehow. He really <laughs> is. He, I don't know what he's doing. I fucking he's hoodwinking us all into going to see these goddamn movies. I, don't, I was so unhyped about it and came out thinking like walking on air, and then a few days later I realised I was like, oh god, yeah. Honestly, it just felt like I was on drugs. Um, and I've never taken drugs, so anyone that can ratify that is is welcome to. But I, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Yeah. There you go. I so, yeah. um I, I, got, I don't I got know one if I thing. can recommend it or or say it's shit. It was just it was just a fucking Avatar movie. Is what it was, Mark. 